Hi, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines, Twin Flames, Lightworkers, Star Seeds. Welcome to this community. My name is Sophia. So in this reading, I'm going to find out a bit more about your person. I've just done a collective reading, so I want to know more what's going on. The collectives and the readings are very important because you attract your person. So I talk about you, but this reading, I'm going to kind of uh, pull out certain cards and go into the nitty gritty with your person. I'm going to see what's going on, um, what's going to happen, um, in, let's say in the next seven days. Um, so I'm going to ask individual questions. So like, what do you need to know for the next seven days? How do they feel about you? How do you feel about them? What are the hidden factors? What's going on behind the scenes? And most importantly, why is this all happening? The base cards. Um, I may do a, a extended for this and put this into the Facebook group. In the Facebook group, I posted today a, a Oracle Guides reading and a, a post. I do far more in that um, energy, planetary, planetary readings and um, people who are mission posting there as well. If you join and you're watching, you can write up about your story and how you uh, feel about how you're getting on with the journey, ask questions. There's um, me and people in mission who answer your questions. So um, please join that group. The link's in the description box. Like I said, probably be an extended. I'll see how I feel at the end. And that extended is free also in the Facebook group. So let's jump in. So let's see what's happening in the next seven days. So let's start. Let me shuffle a bit. I didn't shuffle pre before. What's happening in the next seven days? So okay, let's start. So <clears throat> what do you need to know? Okay. Quick communication. So uh, some of you get in a message. Um, yeah, definitely, because quick communication and a message. So the both of them a message. A message regarding an opportunity. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. How do you feel about your person? <clears throat> Let's see what's going on here. And then I'll clarify with my cards. In the extended, I'm going to pull out Oracle cards as well. How do you feel about them? <clears throat> okay, so you've got the Fool and the Hermit. Let's see, how do they feel about you? That's the most important question here. What we we'll most want to know. They feel how you feel. <laughs> That's a pretty much the, the answer. Since I've done these readings, most of them have been quite positive with how they feel about you so let's see how do that how do you how do they feel about you two six of cups page of swords and um what are the hidden factors what's going on behind the scenes what's going on behind the scenes Knight of Cups, High Priestess, okay, and the base card, uh, Ace of Pentacles, New Beginning. Um, I already done a post about New Beginnings in the Facebook group. So let's jump in. I'll see if I need to clarify. I doubt it because I normally get the message from these. But let's see. I might use my cards in the extended. Um, so the first uh, card is what do you need to know? And oh, if you like my cards and you want to learn tarot. Now, if you know me, I always say start with tarot. Not just because I'm a tarot reader, because I'm not just a tarot reader. I do plenty of things. But tarot, most of you, which I've done this uh, reading in the Facebook group, think you get answers from your guides. You don't, right? That's your ego. Uh, oh, no, Sophia, I do. Well, you wouldn't think you get answers from your guides. You would know and you would know it's not your guides. You'll just have a knowing and that knowing doesn't pinpoint, oh, you've got a knowing and it was a guide, Archangel Raphael, for example, right? reason why I say that is because tarot, it, say you're posting 12 a day. All day you're connecting with source so you get more downloads. That's how I started. That's why I get downloads all the time and they're not downloads knowing. So if you like my cards, look, my drawings, I'm so proud of them. Tower training, right? 
starts. Then you might get answers from upstairs. Okay, we'll go and do this. You don't have to do tarot, but that's that. They're quite cheap. Depends where you are. The the um, they're like twenty quid. But if you're in, they're not in the UK, then it's twenty quid postage package, something like that. It's not my fault. That's how high, how expensive it is, right? That's these ones. If you want more, you know, these ones are the other cards I use for collective readings. So. Quick communication, right? Um, a Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. So what do you need to know in the next seven days? What's happening in the next seven days is that I feel that um, I feel it's going to be short and sweet, like how's you and unexpected, I feel, communication. And it's an opportunity because it's a message of an opportunity, right? Page of Pentacles. Look at my tiny pentacle there. <laughs> Why did I do it so small? But anyway, so this is um, a small opportunity. Let's see if you see it so to be an opportunity. Um, how do you feel about them? The fool and the hermit, right? So I feel you feel, I might clarify this one. I feel that um, you want a new beginning with your person with the fool here, but you also feel that they don't take the risks and <laughs> that's so um, hypocritical is a word because you don't take any risks. I'll ask you, you use this card, very important. That's what I've done a collective reading. You say they don't take risks to come towards you. What risks do you take? But anyway, so I feel you feel your person don't take risks. You want a new beginning. Look, taking a risk. And um, also I was picking up with this one is, yeah, they're stupid, but the fool, the fool is called the fool, being, being foolish. But I'm just going to say it how it is, like attracts like. If you think by doing a tower reading is going to get your person, you're being foolish. Because all you've got to do is go and type in twin flame tower readers See how many thousands and millions of views and are those twin flames with their person? That's that. The hermit next to this is uh, what do you need to know? What's happening in the next seven days is um, you need to go in and look at this. This card is the main one that's standing out to me, the fall. Because there's new beginnings starting here. Absolutely. Look, they come back the same. But then it gauges on what you've changed. So if you've changed, then they change. Normally the masculines come back and they test in the waters to see if you're changed. And you'll generally go back and see if they're changed. And then you go back the same cussing out your person or going back to the same pattern and not making any uh, risks or anything different. And like I said, my collective reading was about proper differences, not... You can be different in the same, like if you go to my website, I've got a new earth school. I've got a school on my website. I've got um, for adults and for children. I've got a mission program, completely different. A school and mission gets you in there, which is for you to be an independent entrepreneur, right? A school and an entrepreneur business. Then I do tarot and image readings. But they're all within this part of mission, all the same thing. Most of you just do, okay, I'm going to do acupuncture and Reiki. I'm going to do Reiki and meditation. That's not massive, like I just said. Doing a school alone is hardcore, right? That alone is one massive jump. But you, you just do little things and you wonder why your person comes with little things to you as well. How do they feel about you? So I feel here, this is six of cups. They're thinking about you reminiscing, right? Living in the past. Reunion. I already said there's a reunion and I've been saying that for months. They're coming back, blah, blah, blah. And I already said, look at this. They're coming with a message. This is them. A message based on truth, intellect, ambitions. This is that first card, what's going on, right, in the next uh, seven days. So they're coming because they're reminiscing about you, so they're missing you. They're coming, but 
I said the message here, which is the two swords, right, is about truth. So I said the main thing I'm picking up here in this reading is the thought. So if the truth of the matter is that if you're only doing, oh, I'm doing, um, I'm doing tarot reading and then in the afternoon I do stretching with yoga and a, and a five minute meditation, that's all you're, the truth is they're going to come back with the same smog. That's what this is about. But they they def I feel they know it's twin flame connection and all that kind of thing with a six of cups. And six of cups is past life. So they live in the past if you live in the past. You are here to go with the like all the before January of this year, there were um the twin flames before me, let's just say. It sounds vain. I don't care. Don't know how else to say it. I you taken or spoke about a galactic school which teaches you about how you can feel when you're in your mother's birth because conception is when we're conceived and conception when you're conceived is energy and we are heightened energetic beings because we're alien so you can feel wherever you are so you can feel from when you're in your mum's birth go ask d d does all this natal stuff kids stuff i don't know what it's called sorry d if you're listening i'm just saying right um I'm not saying that she can always pick up what you feel, but you, some of you may feel, I, could, I, I know how I felt in my mum's, you know, womb when I was all that kind of stuff. My point is they couldn't talk about that before, but with the Six of Cups doesn't mean that they can't then move to the future. The reason why the Six of Cups is twin flames is because the old twin flames, right, they quite get, I don't get, they don't So listen, Sophia, you're going to get separate downloads to every other twin flame because you're the new way forward. No. I get the same downloads as you and everyone else. Why? Because we're unity consciousness. We're all one. The difference is they choose to decipher or perceive their ego with their downloads, right? And call it downloads. It's a knowing. They know as well to move forward. Why? Because this world is always moving. It's always evolving and moving. So we evolve with it. So the old twin flames couldn't talk about my school. They couldn't talk about energetic frequencies. They couldn't talk because it would have been too advanced back. But from January now, you lot, plenty of you lot can go book the school. You're fine. You I book image reading. It's like nothing to you, right, when you book that. You're not impressed with my image reading, although there's probably no one on this YouTube, which is bigger than television, that does what I do. There's no one that does what I do on my website. But you still don't because you're blinded by the six of uh, six of cups of the past. The past is the just get a crystal, put it on your third eye and you'll be happy. The easier option. Right. Although it's hard because it don't do shit, keeps you enslaved. Oh, my person lives in the, in the past with his ex and with parents telling him what to do. And I don't get it because I'm so advanced. I'm a spiritual teacher and he'd be fine with me. I'm like, no, you're still just enslaved. Uh, putting a crystal in the third eye don't do shit. You're still enslaved. You're still plugged into the matrix. You're still the same thing. Like attracts like. That's why six of cups, past life. Don't mean that you do, you're living in the past. They live in the past, right? When you advance to... The knowing of I know, then that's what the Six of Cups is. It's blend because there is no past, present, or future. And if you don't believe that there is no time, then this would be an impossibility. Because I'm predict I predict your past, present, and future, and all tower readers do that as well. This is your potential outcome. I said, what's going to happen next in the next seven days, right? And I'm picking up the past energy, right? What's been going on? And I'm telling you now. <laughs> so there is no past, present and future. So you just live in the past. This must be about you moving into the future. Like I said, so what, what they feel is this connection. But they are here to teach you. I'm always telling you they're here to teach you. They have the six of cups, not you. You always think you know because you've got a fucking crystal. You don't know. They are the ones that are teaching you here, right? 
this is where what are the hidden factors what's going on behind the scenes right is the knight of cups and the high priestess so i would say uh, this is about <laughs> you wanting an apology an expression of love someone romantic the knight of cups um and this is with the high priestess this is about um psychic abilities intuition and all that this is about going within and asking yourself what, what do you want the apology for and where do you want this like romance from television films that say that your person comes around and I've had one person propose to me years ago on bended knee, right? And um, all the rest, uh, I've had a couple of people talk what they want to do, guys, but they don't, they don't do it. That's not their true self, right? And it's not like they're not, they can't be like how you perceive it to be, your person, it's like they are enslaved and programmed as of you their core essence is more of foundation building that's why your presence is over there building 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 right and you might say well they don't even give to the kids even if you've got children with a twin flame all they care about is building they want to build and leave something for the kids literally that's all they care about just like you are cups 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 so this expressing love and uh, an apology that changes when you change when you understand well why do you why do you want an apology for someone who didn't give you a birthday present a gift when they are the six of cups a gift anyway right they teach you once you start i have people in mission and um people book me and i tell them what their person has done and they're not even with their person yet I, I created this and I've created so much and I wasn't even with my person fully when I started all this. They get you in online and, do, you know, online with yourself aligned and so much just by them being. That's the gift. Why do you bother about gifts, what they give you? Now, I repeat, it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. When you align with yourself and do the work and realize what you're asking for without doing the work, then you appreciate them then they it's like you go more into the masculine the masculine doesn't give gifts and all that kind of thing and then they go more into the feminine then they give gifts and that kind of thing it's my 5d channeled message so the underneath is like going into why you're here and you're connecting with source you would know these answers i know these answers because i connect with source you if you like i say you say my guides you're off track totally off track you call anything mine my my kids my, my my person my guides off track right this is a knowing the high priestess is a knowing the high priestess speaks of truth if you say mine that nothing on this planet is yours that's ego claiming right wanting to claim something high priestess is about truth she has the scroll of truth it's also the scroll of tarot taruf her name is uh i priestess taruf or something like that it depends how you pronounce it in different whatever religions and tradition which represents tarot's your truth your truth of your journey about jumping into the unknown and taking the risk which you don't take any risks you just want your person to come back be romantic and apologize go in and ask yourself about these questions that's what are the hidden factors, what's going on behind the scenes. The underneath of this is, uh, the base of this is an opportunity, commitment, invest, investment. The ace of pentacles, right? <clears throat> I said that it's starting with a page. The journey starts with a page, right? Sorry about that. My son's texting me all day and I, I'm not going to ignore, but I've got to work. So I just pause it and reply and come back so the ace of pentacles is about um starting properly and understanding about the physical world right you want a proper physical um beginning right properly 
start in the house, the car, living with your person, then you have to understand about mission while you're here fully. You have to understand that your wants, your wishes and desires are of the 3D, or from a family, the house, the car, the, the ace of pentacles. That's the underlying factor here of this reading. There is nothing to do with higher mind. Meditation, yoga and all that keeps you still for, go and do, I've just released the meditation and it keeps you in the now. When you stop that, you're back to this physicality of the 3D. The work I do, I'm always knowing. You book me, image reading, I know. I don't get into a meditated state, I know. You do a live with me, you ask me a question, I know. The work I do, the programs, I get you to the high priestess continuously because higher mind is always there. The work you do is always temporary and that is not what you're supposed to do. Like my meditation I just uh, put there. It's called Who Are You, right? It brings you to I am, to who you really are. I'm not saying you got you can be at that state. That state of awareness is very hard to maintain. But it brings you to the stillness so that you don't want, you know, oh, someone expressing love. You don't think about anything like that, expressing love and apology. You just be. And we are human beings on this planet to follow the love frequency. So this is understanding about your physical world and your higher world as above, so below. So I'm not going to clarify, but in the extended, I'm going to see what is the challenge in the blocks of this connection. Where is it going? What can you expect next, right? And uh, what are their actions and intentions? And like I always said, I'm going to pull out some of these cards. I'm going to pull out some oracle cards as well. So if you want the free extended and you want loads more free stuff, I've already done a, a My Guides oracle cards today. And another post today so if you want this extra stuff uh, then uh, join uh, pre-warning right I want you in there if you're prepared to make action steps forward to make the changes not just to go in there with your negative to just watch 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 right I want people who want to make the changes I give you additional stuff to encourage you to make the state ch changes right that's what that group is for so um, you're welcome to join the links down in the, wherever it is, the description box, because they move it around. And it's a private group. You just sign up and I'll let you in. And that's it. So or go ahead and book me. Right. Everyone in that Facebook group, don't get you your person. This don't get you your person. Watching don't get you your person. Booking me and people in mission will. Being in mission will. There's no one in mission. Mission is to change planet Earth. Mission is to change planet Earth and get them out of mental enslavement, right? That's what it is. Self-love is part of it, but it's about changing planet Earth. So if you're not doing that, Reiki, acupuncture, crystals, don't do that. It's very important you understand that. So, okay, let's get to the extended. Speak to you later.